cows are such a brilliant animal to work with because they just sort of adapt to the way you do things and they respond to the way you are with them, I think. Grandfather came down here from Shropshire in 1954. He had airships and he brought all his whole herd down on the train. So he milked them in the morning? Milked them in the morning, brought them all down and then they walked all the cows through the marketplace and devised all down the street to devise out to the farm and then he had them to two dairies ready and then he milked them at 10 o'clock that night and then had them back out to grass. And when we took over, we just felt that things had to change. We were worried, we were highly stocked, so we were worrying about the sort of effect we were having on the ground. So everyone thought we were mad, but actually it, it just made the farm work. Everything made sense to, to go once they milking and organic, really. You know, we've got four children, and for us, part of why we farm like this is because we want to farm for the children and have a safe, nice environment for them to grow up. We also want to feed them really healthy food. They all do have their uses. The chickens, they follow behind the cows and they'll eat all the little shoots of grass and clover that come through in chicory. And then we also have the pigs. And the pigs, the paddock we're in now, that's been cultivated by the pigs over winter and then the seed's been put on that in the spring. So they do a job there. Um, when they're on the pasture, the first thing they like to do is root up any thistles and, and then the sheep they graze up on the downs they're a traditional Wiltshire horn sheep which yep. have been on these downs adapted these downs for centuries yeah came over with the Romans the downlands very different to the grazing down here yeah so traditionally there'd be loads of chalkland flowers up there and, and I guess the way we're moving them around the cows around that the pasture has time to rest and the flowers have time to develop and then when the cows come back in, they graze off the grass that would encroach on the flowers so they have more space to grow. So we're, we're seeing a lot of unusual flowers coming there. So I think the grazing is essential to, for all those species to thrive. Those animals are going up on the downs um, and they can graze away from the farm, away from the milking platform uh, and they can be with mums up on the downs and they'll just have grass and milk all their lives. The problem over here is most consumers think that all cheese is from 100% grass-fed animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and that's why for us having the Pasture for Life logo on it is just so important. Yes. And increasing people's awareness of what Pasture for Life means and that it's 100%. And 100% is really important because a tiny bit of grain in a cow's diet can have a huge effect on those omega-3 ratios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A massive effect. Yeah. So that's why it is really crucial that they just eat the grass. The products that are coming off Porton House on the meat side is veal from the suckled calves and the older dairy cow beef. The veal, as you can see from the sort of vibrancy and the colour of the meat, is not as light as people may normally expect veal to look. Here, quite a contrast in terms of the colour of the meat. This is from a nine-year-old Jersey cow whose diet has been pure grass pasture. You get this yellow fat and when that fat melts into the beef, it makes for a really luxurious eating. Do I love what yeah, the way we do things? Too. Yeah, I do, yeah. Because it's just, I don't, it's just a real challenge. It's lovely working outside and with the stock all the time, but I think being organic and the way we farm, you've got to think about things all the time. And it, and it, but you're not dealing with problems that have sort of happened. You're just thinking about how to avoid problems in the future and plan things to, to make everything work. And if you have a problem with the cows, you just don't sort of ring someone up and order a, something in to, to cure it. You have to think your way around it and, and do, and do something else. And I think every year we think of a different way we could do it slightly better the yeah. following year and how we could adapt and improve things.